Isaiah chapter 61 The Lord's anointed, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to conform, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified, and they shall build the old wastes, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair their wasted cities, the desolations of many generations, and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers, but ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God, Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy, shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering and I will direct their work in truth. I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are seed with the Lord, which the Lord has bl had blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord my God shall be joyful in my God. For he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorned herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her butt, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in, to, in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Chapter 62 for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness therefore go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and those shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall come, shall of the Lord shall name. Though shall also be a crown of glory in the, the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate, but thou shalt be called Hafazabah, and thy land Bula, for the Lord delighted in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man married a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon the walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never Hold their peace, day or night, yea, that make mention of the Lord. 
keep not silent and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the Lord. The Lord had sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Lord. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stones, lift up a strand standard for the people. Behold, the Lord had proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with them, and his work before him. And they shall call him the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called, sought and out, a city not forsaken. Chapter 63 A Day of Judgment Who is this that cometh from Edom, with dyed garments from Bozrah? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and thy garments like him that dreaded in the wine fat? I have drawn the winepress alone, and of the people there was none for with me, for I will dread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore my own arm brought salvation unto me. In my fury it upheld me, and I will dread down the people in my anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us, and the great goodness for the house of Israel, which he had bestowed on them according to his mercies, and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. For he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie, so he was their savior. In all their affliction he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity he redeemed them. And he bare him them. And carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore he was turned to be their enemy. And he fought against them. Then he remembered the days of old, Moses and his people, saying, Where is he that brought them up out of the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he that put his Holy Spirit with them, with him, that led them by the right hand of Moses and his glorious arm, dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name? that led them through the deep as a horse in the wilderness, that they should not stumble as a beast goeth down into the valley, 
the Spirit of the Lord causes him to rest, so didst thou let thy people to make thyself a glorious name. Look down from heaven, and behold from the habitation of thy holiness, and of thy glory, where is thy zeal, and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels, and of thy mercies toward me. Are they restrained? Doubt, doubtless, thou art our father, through Abraham, be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledge us not. Though, O Lord, our art, our Father, our Redeemer, thy name is from everlasting. O Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways, and hearken our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servants' sake, the tribes of thy inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it, but a little while our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. We are thine, you though never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. Chapter 64 Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down that the mountains might flow down at thy presence as when the melting fire burn it the fire causeth the waters to boil to make thy name known to thy adversaries that the nations may tremble at thy presence when thou didst trem terrible things which we looked not for thou calmest down the mountains flow down at thy presence for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither had the eye seen, O God, beside thee, what he had prepared for him that waited for him. For him. Thou that meetest him that rejoiceth and worked it, righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wrought, for we have sinned. In those, in those is con continuance, and we shall be saved. But we are all as unclean things, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we do, and we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. And there is none that called it upon thy name, that stirred it up th himself, to take hold of thee, for thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, thou art our Father, we are the clay, and thou art our potter, and we are all the work of thy hand. Be not wroth, very sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee. We are all thy people. Thy holy cities are a wilderness. Zion is a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and our beautiful house, where our fathers praise thee, is burnt up with fire, and all our pleasant things are laid waste. Wilt thou refrain thyself for these things, O Lord? Wilt thou hold thy peace and afflict us very sore? Chapter 65 I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my, my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walked in a way that was not good. After their own thoughts, a people that provoked me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifices in gardens and burned incense upon altars of brick, 
which remain among the graves, and lodge in the mount monuments, which eat swine's flesh, and broth of abdominal things is in their vessels, which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, said the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blaspheme me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus said the Lord, As the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sakes, that I may not destroy them all. That, and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and an inheritor of my mountains and my elect shall inherit it and my servant shall dwell there and Sharon shall be a fold of flocks and the valley of anchor a place for the herds to lie down in for my people that have sought me but ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forgot my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and of that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called ye did not answer, when I spoke ye did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name, that he who blessed himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from my eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come to mind. But ye be glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create a Jerusalem, a rejoicing and her people a joy, and will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that had not filled his days, for the child shall die a hundred years old. But the sinner being a hundred years old, shall be accursed, and they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands, they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and the dust shall be the serpent's meat. 
They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, said the, said the Lord. Chapter 66 Thus said the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. There is the house that ye build unto me, and where is the place of my rest? For all these things had my hand made, and all these thing, those things have been, said the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, and of a contrite spirit, and trembled at my word. He that kill it an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificed a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offered an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burned incense as if he blessed an idol. Yes, they have chosen their own ways and their soul delighted in their abomination. I also will choose their delusions, and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spoke, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out, for my namesake said, Let the Lord be glorified, and ye shall appear for your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth before her pain came. She was delivered of a man child who had heard such a thing, who had seen such things. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her child. Shall I bring to the birth? and not cause to bring forth, said the Lord. Shall I cause to bring forth, and shall thy womb, said thy God? Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourns for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolation, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus said the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dan dangled upon her knees, as one whom his mother comforted. So will I comfort you, and ye shall be com comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with them all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden, behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh, and the abomination in the mouth, shall be consumed together, said the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. And I will set a sign among them. And I will send those that escape of them 
unto the nations, to Tarshish, to Pil and Lud, that draw the bow to Tubal and Javan, to the isles afar off, that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they shall desire, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord, out of all nations upon horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and upon mules, and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain. Jerusalem, said the Lord, as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord, and I will also take of them for priests and Levites, said the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, said the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their, their fire be quenched. And they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh.
I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name Come to the table Cup running over Come drink your fill I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name Oh, I can hear you call my name You come to the valley Come lay your head down Come rest your feet by the river of life Come to the pasture Rest by the fire Rest as the wind blows over the plain I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name I can hear you call my name Come to the pasture Lie by the river Come drink your fill To the table, cup running over. Come drink your fill and be well. The beginning where I stood with you in the night, it begins the light from the meadow where I first saw you. With my eyes The road ahead It was my road back I take it all the way, the way, the way to you When I return to center
was new here I was real It was all enough Till it all went out And I looked within I was found Again